Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So, oh my gosh, I forgot to put my other earring in, guys. What the heck? Okay, there we go. So, as you saw by the title, today's video we will be talking about the Ofra and Madison Miller, um, what is it called? The Midi Palette or something like that. Um, it's Madison Miller just recently collabed with Ofra Cosmetics. Um, they came out with a whole collection of uh, blushes, highlighters, two blushes, two highlighters, Two, li two lip glosses, one liquid lipstick, and then a face palette. And if you were subscribed to Ipsy this month, you did get the face palette. Most people got the face palette. I didn't see anybody who didn't so far. So um, I don't know if that's everybody or most people. But anyway, the palette looks like this, and I'm so excited to touch it, play around with it. I also have one of the lip glosses that I'm going to be testing out for you guys. So um, yeah, without further ado, let's just get started. So, um, like I said, Ofra and Madison Miller collab together. I have the box here. I'm sad that it doesn't say. Yeah, it's the Midi palette. Um, the, from the for the Miller Squad, whatever. Jada jada jada. So, like I said, she just recently collabed. Um, and she just recently also had her daughter Riley. So all this stuff is kind of like themed toward her. Um, the lip gloss is actually called Smiley for Riley. Yeah, and then she had like Oh My Rai Rai, like all these things were named after her daughter, which was super, super cute. Um, anyway, back to the palette. So the palette, the blush in the middle, I don't remember exactly. I'll put it on the screen because I don't remember exactly what the name of the blush was. But the blush was actually one of the two blushes that she released as singles, which I think is super exciting because you kind of, I'm not going to purchase the blushes and the highlighters for, um, um, in singles because I just don't have the money. So it's cool that I get to get this, got to get the same products. Uh, same product in here now the highlighters which is kind of a bummer they're both different highlighters they're not the same two highlighters that she released these are two different ones so um they don't really have names they're just in the palette you know um and it's interesting though because these two look so much deeper than the two she released on i can throw up a picture two pictures here um but they just look so much deeper than the one she released it's like i i this seemed just to be like a last minute let's throw together a palette you know or ofra cosmetics was like let's just throw this into your palette blah blah blah, blah and seems um, I don't know, it just seemed random to just throw deep shades in here, you know, in a palette. But maybe it's just to avoid being, I don't know, called, I don't know, like, maybe it's just to avoid not being able, uh, darker skin to not being able to use it, uh, the products. I don't know. It kind of, you just never know with brands these days because they're always trying to save themselves, you know, um, whatever. But anyway, they're super, super deep shades. They're not the deepest, but this one over here even looks like it could be too dark for me at some angles or some points. So, um, just so you guys know, I thought that was a little fishy. Okay, so we are going to do some swatches. I'm going to swatch this highlighter to the right over here. The blush in the middle. I'm so excited for the blush. I've never tried Ofra blushes. I've tried the Rodeo Drive highlighter and the Nikki Tutorials highlighter and the Everglow highlighter. I've tried those two, but I've never tried a blush from them, and I'm so excited. So here's how they look on the... You know, I'm going to swatch them on the palm because that's just better. Um, but That's how they look right here. So we're going to swatch her. The blush in the middle here, and then the last highlighter here oh my gosh those look absolutely stunning the blush looks beautiful this highlighter does look really deep and so i'm a little shook but because she wouldn't even be able to wear that madison miller it would be a little too dark for her i mean maybe if she used it as an eyeshadow but whatever either way this highlighter looks stunning these two right here look beautiful i mean this highlight looks gorgeous it looks really deep though um but i'm so excited to play with these and put them on my face Ugh, i only have two cheeks Okay, and then we'll talk about the gloss real quick, and then we'll apply them, and then we'll be done. <laughs> so, the gloss here is the Ofra Cosmetics, um, the Ofra Madison Miller Lip Gloss in shade Smiley for Riley. It's in this cute packaging. Um, now, Ofra came out with more recent packaging, and everyone's kind of like, why is all her, why is her collab in the old packaging? I don't know why. She'll probably address it soon, because a lot of people are questioning it, questioning it but um, maybe it's just because they collabed a long time ago. I don't know. But, um... Oh, it looks like this. I'm so excited for this gloss. It is just so stunning. Oh, it's so beautiful. It is like looks like the perfect gloss right now. Um, it's perfect. Like I think she had mentioned this maybe. Maybe she meant to mentioned it about the liquid lipstick. But I think she had um, whatever she said about either the liquid lipstick or the lip gloss. She said like it's the perfect transition between summer and fall because it's not too fall like base, but it's not summer anymore. It's kind of right in the middle, and so it's perfect. So I'm so excited about that. Um, it was just a quick swatch. I guess lip gloss, you don't really have to swatch because, I mean, you just see it on the lips. 
anyway we're gonna go into the blush i have all my makeup on clearly and i have this um stippling brush which i use for all my blush it's a fayon brush they um, came in it got this in an amazon brush set i did a video um on that recently if you want to go check it out but we are just going to dip into this blush it also it's kind of huge but it also comes with a nice mirror which is awesome especially because they want you to travel with it my brush is kind of too big for it <laughs> anyway <gasps> Ooh. oh my gosh guys i'm kind of shook this is the perfect blush the perfect blush um okay i'm someone's gonna have to pry this out of my dead hands because i'm gonna i'm gonna use this every day for all of my life i was gonna say all fall because it's like that perfect just came out inside from the cold kind of blush and i love that i love it i'm shook to the core that is gorgeous. All right, we have highlight to do. I didn't even want to go to the highlight because I'm like so shook it. Anyway, for highlighter, I have two different brushes here. Um, but I don't know which highlighter I want to use. <sighs> okay, so we're gonna take my fan brush and we're gonna dip into this shade over here, the lighter kind of more silver kind of shade. And we're just gonna Oh my gosh, you can see it. What the heck? So if you can see this silver one, you're definitely going to be able to see this. If you can see this one, you're definitely going to be able to see this one on me. Um, I'm going to blend it in a second, but that shade is blinding. It is super, super silver, like Tin Man silver. Um... Which is not my favorite. I don't like the way silver looks with blushes usually. If I'm just going to wear a highlighter and no blush or whatever or no makeup underneath, I would like this kind of thing. It's just kind of beaming. But like when I'm wearing blush and stuff, I don't think they like blend together well. Um, personally, maybe on just my skin. I don't really love that. So that's exciting. <laughs> and then we're going to dip into this side right here. And I'm just going to go down my nose to kind of see... Not that bad. I'm just gonna add some up here. Huh, they're super super pigmented. Super super pigmented. We're highlighting all over. I think we're just gonna take also we're gonna take this deeper shade and I'm gonna apply that to my lids. My eyelids, because I had nothing on there, you know. I might as well, right? That's pretty on the eyelids. It's pretty, honestly, it's pretty um, with uh, like all over. I just feel like, um, I don't know how it's gonna look if it's gonna be too dark. So that's really annoying, especially because rarely are things too deep for me. Um, and then if you guys all have seen, if any of you have seen Madison Miller, she's not dark at all. She's super, super light. Okay, she's not super light, but she's on the, fair on the light fair side you know she's kind of closer to that end um so it's just really weird that she'd come out with deep highlights like that that are too dark for me <laughs> i'm just gonna put some uh more color in my crease because i felt like kind of went away with the shade but it's still it's still gorgeous i'm obsessed so it looks really really nice on the eyes it looks b beautiful on the face um, I'm definitely going to use this some more. I want to do, I'm going to wear, I'm going to put on the gloss in a second, but I'm going to be wearing this all day. So I usually get back pretty late depending on if I'm going to go to class tonight or not. I haven't decided yet, but, um, uh, so we will come back and I will tell you how everything wore throughout the day and how the blush and the highlights looking at the end of the day. So, um, just stay tuned for that. And then, um, 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 <laughs> and now I'm going to apply the gloss. That's what I was trying to say. Okay. So again, the gloss is in the shade smiley for riley and i do i like the old over packaging the new packaging is nicer but i like the old one Ooh. it's going on very smooth and that's already a good sign 
um, that it's not going to be a sticky gloss because usually when it's sticky it's like tugging on your lips and so it's not right now. It also it's very creamy and almost liquidy is the word. Um, oh, that is stunning. I'm stunned for life. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. I'm going to layer it up a little bit, see how it looks. Oh my gosh. That is just like a clear gloss, but it's almost like gives a little bit extra, a little bit more. It's kind of like the um, Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in the shade, um, what, are they, what shade is it? In the shade Diamond Milk, they're kind of similar in that they're just, they are light. You can see the, the color in them, that you can see that they're lighter than like a regular lip gloss, but they're not stark white and then like it, it's not ugly. So I'm kind of shook about this. It is a very light lip gloss it feels like, so what I'm assuming is that throughout the day it's gonna, um, I, I'm gonna have to reapply it quite a bit. Um, obviously that's with all lip gloss. Some lip gloss though is a lot thicker and a lot um, stickier um, just so that it lasts a bit longer so like I can drink a couple sips and still my lip gloss will be on whereas this I'll probably take a cup like two sips and it'll be off but um, it's a gloss you know what I'm saying so I freaking love lip gloss I'm so excited this. Um, I'll let you guys know like how many times I um what am I trying to say? I let you guys know how many times like I reapplied it. Maybe if I remember, like um, I'll tell you an estimate, a guesstimate. So yeah, let's just get on with it. There's literally always something that I forget. Always. Real quick, I just want to mention I did get it in my this um, palette in my Ipsy. So it retails for $35 originally. Originally, obviously I only paid for my box, but it paid cost for $35. Cost $35, which is so crazy. It's so worth it because you're getting. Um, Two highlighters and a blush from over cosmetics that's crazy and then why do i have foundation everywhere always always have foundation everywhere anyway the lip gloss i got it as an add-on for only three bucks great i was gonna add on the liquid lipstick too but it, it was sold out i guess people got to it before me whatever maybe they'll I'll make it an add-on another month because she's like kind of ipsy creator we'll see but um i believe these are 15 dollars I don't know if that means in the new packaging, old packaging, what packaging they're in. Um, this is in because on their website it's in the other packaging, the smaller, kind of more square kind of packaging. So on their website it's $15 for that. So I don't know if that means you can't get this packaging or what that means for like adding it on or buying it through Ipsy because I know you can still purchase some of the products through Ipsy. It's not for their add-on price, so like their add-ons were $3. I believe you could get this for like $12 now, so it's still cheaper than um oh for cosmetics but it's believe it will be in like this kind of format i don't know how that's gonna work but um 15 dollars. so great 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 prices especially to get an ipsy amazing um but now yeah now we can go all right guys so currently it's like 6 30 a little after 6 30 um so i've hunted on for quite a bit now basically my entire day wednesdays today i'm filming this on a wednesday wednesdays are for me are a little bit longer uh, but i decided to cut it short because i don't feel like going to class tonight um so here's the tea sis the blush looks bomb the highlighter looks beautiful it is still beaming and stuff it's just super silver and i'm really not a fan so not a fan so i definitely have to try this one over here which is a little bit more gold so maybe they'll be the same tone like the same shade but almost different like um i don't know how to explain it like if you look at them they're the same they look like the same amount like they they put down the same color except it's different like undertones almost so one will be a little bit more silver one's a little bit more gold so we're gonna see how the other one wears the formula is super creamy very very nice i really love the formula i'm just not super excited about the two shades picked the blush again is stunning it lasted all day gorgeous the lip gloss my phone's also at 10 percent, so we're struggling today sis struggling tonight anyways the anyway the lip gloss is a very like i said mentioned earlier it is a very light formula i applied it reapplied it like 10 times today because it just it just disappears you know just even if you are not drinking anything and i was sitting in class um for like 55 minutes for my classes 
and by the end of it my lips would be dry so it's like <laughs> i love the shade i love everything about it and like applying it for like a video or something like that would be super super nice but it's just not a long lasting formula and uh, that is not my favorite i don't like a sticky gloss so i thought that this was going to be great because it's not sticky but it almost like just sinks into your skin and then that's it and that's it i know i look crazy i'm so sorry um, so it's kind of like so-so. It's kind of reminds me of the e.l.f. tinted lip oils, which you just apply them once and like, I mean, um, over and over and over again. And it kind of, you go through it super, super fast. So that's one thing is that it's like, ugh, if I'm taking this with me throughout the day, I'm going to go through it like water. So I have to use it some more. Um, tell you how I really, really feel another day, but I'm super pumped about it right now. Um, and I do still like the shade, so... Still in the testing phase of this. Still in the testing phase of these phase of these highlighters. The blush I'm already sold on. It's already my favorite shade of life. So super excited about that. So that is it for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you picked up any of these products. If you are excited about any of these products. Um, any tips and tricks about these highlighters? Because I don't like a silver highlight. <laughs> now that's it. Bye, guys. Oh my gosh, I forgot to tell you that I took off the shimmer on my lid because I wanted it to be all matte today. And it looked really nice when my hair was done and, and the frizzies were not crazy. It looks super, super nice. Um, uh, but I did take the shimmer shade off. It didn't like disappear. I took it off, just so you know. Now, bye. <laughs>